in a world of confinement and challenge one creature finds itself trapped within thondike's puzzle box the odds are stacked against it as it faces intricate barriers and perplexing trials but in the depths of despair a flicker of determination emerges driving the creature to fight for its freedom through persistent effort and unwavering resilience it battles the darkness seeking a way out and when all seems lost a moment of revelation dawns and the puzzle box surrenders granting the creature his long awaited escape thondike's puzzle box a testament to the power of determination and the victory of the indomitable spirit hello everyone today we are going to learn edward l thondike's theory of connectionism a ground breaking theory that revolutionized our understanding of how associations and connections shape our learning and behavior i am blessen vargis a junior research fellow at mahatma gandhi university kerala and welcome to my channel mindscape Edward L Thorndike was an influential American psychologist known for his significant contributions to the field of learning theory and behaviorism. He played a key role in shaping the early foundations of modern psychology. His research and theories continue to shape the fields of psychology and education, influencing practices in teaching, learning and behavior modification. Thorndike's theory of learning is commonly referred to as the connectionist theory or the stimulus response theory. It emphasizes the formation of associations between stimuli and responses. This theory proposes that learning occurs through the strengthening of connections between stimuli and responses based on the consequences that follow. They highlights the importance of stimulus response associations in shaping behavior and lays the foundation for understanding how learning and behavior can be influenced and modified through reinforcement and punishment let's consider an example to illustrate the strengthening of connection between stimuli and responses based on the consequences that follow suppose you are teaching a dog to sit in the initial stage the dog has no prior association between the verbal command sit and the action of sitting When the command sit is given the dog does not respond correctly in the second phase or the trial and error phase the command sit is repeatedly given and the dog tries various behaviors in response eventually the dog accidentally sits down possibly due to fatigue chance or instinct this accidental sitting response is followed by a positive consequence such as praise or a treat it leads to the third phase that is the strengthening of connection the positive consequence reinforces the connection between the verbal command sit and the sitting response as a result the connection between the stimulus and the response is strengthened in the dog's mind and finally through repetition and consistent reinforcement the dog learns to associate the verbal command sit with the action of sitting by reinforcing the desired behavior with positive consequences the connection between the stimulus and the response becomes stronger increasing the likelihood of the dog sitting in response to the command in the future one of thondike's most famous experiments is known as the puzzle box experiment this experiment was conducted with cats and aimed to investigate how animals learn through trial and error to escape from a confined space in the puzzle box experiment thondike placed a hungry cat inside a specially designed box with a simple latch mechanism that could be manipulated to open the door initially the cat would explore the box by trying various actions like scratching biting and pushing against the walls to find a way out after a series of random behaviors the cat would accidentally hit the lever or press the latch in a way that opened the door allowing it to escape and obtain food placed outside the box 
in subsequent trials the cat will repeat the successful action more quickly demonstrating a learning process through trial and error Thorndike observed that with repeated trials the cats gradually learn to associate the correct actions with the reward of escaping the box and obtaining food the time taken for the cats to escape decreased as they learned the appropriate behaviors indicating the formation of a connection between the stimulus of being in the box and the response of performing the correct actions to escape through these experiments thorndike proposed his law of effect which states that behaviors that are followed by satisfying consequences become more likely to be repeated while behaviors followed by unsatisfying consequences become less likely to be repeated now let us see some of the theoretical principles number 1 learning involves trial and error according to thorndike learning is the stamping in of the correct responses and stamping out of the incorrect responses through the process of trial and error let's say initially you have a mobile phone with a pattern lock screen and need to figure out the correct pattern to unlock it in the second phase you start by tracing different patterns on the screen attempting to unlock the phone some attempts may result in an incorrect pattern and the phone remaining locked in the third phase after several attempts you trace the correct pattern and the phone unlocks successfully the positive consequence of the phone unlocking reinforces the correct pattern in your memory this is called stamping in correct response at the same time you notice that certain patterns lead to incorrect outcomes such as the phone remaining locked through trial and error you gradually eliminate those incorrect patterns and focus on the ones that you have successfully unlocked the phone This is called stamping out of incorrect responses. With practice and learning from your mistakes, you become more skilled at unlocking the phone. The correct pattern becomes more familiar as you can quickly and accurately trace it to unlock the phone without the need for trial and error. Number 2, learning is the result of the formation of the connection between the stimuli and the response. Thorndike's theory emphasizes that learning involves the formation of connections or associations between stimuli and responses. The strengthening of these connections enables the learner to respond appropriately to specific stimuli, leading to the acquisition of new knowledge, skills, and behaviors. When a specific stimulus consistently elicit a particular response the connection between the stimulus and the response strengthens leading to learning this process is often referred to as stimulus response association number 3 learning is incremental thorndike concluded that learning performance is dependent upon the number of trials or opportunities fulfilled by the learner as we go on increasing the number of trials or practice our performance gradually improves thorndike terms such improvement in performance as incremental suppose you have no experience in cooking and are unfamiliar with basic cooking techniques and recipes you start by learning simple tasks like boiling water chopping vegetables and following basic instructions you gradually progress to more complex cooking techniques and recipes Each new dish you attempt introduces new ingredients, flavors and cooking methods. As you become more comfortable in the kitchen, you start experimenting with combining different ingredients and flavors. Through practice and experimentation, you refine your skills. You learn from your mistake, adjust flavors and gain a better understanding of how different ingredients interact. Over time, you develop a level of mastery. where you can confidently create your own recipes and adapt existing ones you gain an intuitive sense of flavor combinations cooking times and presentation in this example learning to cook is an incremental process starting with basic tasks you gradually build your knowledge and skills trying new recipes and techniques as you progress 
through continuous practice, experimentation and exposure to a variety of ingredients and methods, you become more proficient in the kitchen. Number 4. Learning is direct. Don't it, do not acknowledge any role of cognition in the process of learning. Learning is not mediated by thinking, reasoning or other such mental functions. Learning is a process of establishing a simple connection between sensory stimuli and the appropriate responses. In conclusion, E.L. Thorndike made significant contributions to the field of psychology, particularly in the areas of learning and behaviorism. His theory of connectionism emphasized the importance of stimulus response associations and the strengthening of connections based on the consequences that followed. Through his famous experiments such as the puzzle box, Thorndike demonstrated the process of trial and error learning and how it influences behavior. His work laid the foundation for future advancements in learning theory and provided valuable insights into the principle of learning and the role of reinforcement. Thorndike's theories and experiments continue to be influential in understanding human and animal behavior and has shaped the field of psychology as we know it today. Thank you for your time and interest in understanding the fascinating world of learning and behavior. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insight and a deeper appreciation for Thorndike's work. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to stay connected and continue the learning journey together. Thank you once again for watching and for your ongoing support. Bye, take care.